Okay, Duke's Rafi Riddle B 2020 presented by Sakshi Media Group. Duke's Rafi Riddle B 2020 presented by Sakshi Group launched with the first edition back in 2019. It is one of the most awaited events for schools across Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. This participation in each schools across the both states has consistently grown in the second edition students from the more than 300 schools. Okay, 300 schools took the test. After participating in preliminary rounds online, today students gradually qualified for higher rounds. Today we have the students for grand finale who are participating not just from the Twin Cities, it's like, you know, from remote areas of the both the states, uh, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, who would be competing for gold, silver and bronze here. Sponsor for this Sakshi, this Riddle B, Duke Swafi. We thank them for uh, their constant support. They've been supporting us. They are walking with us in this journey more than a decade. And here the B master, Ms. Uh, Susan Bird and Ms. Rani. Give them a good round of applause before we start. And I request Rani to give rules and regulations before we start the competition. Thank you. Happy to have the riddle B. So before we go on further, I would like to address few rules which we will be following it and then we start right so first of all congratulations you are all winners and i say we are looking for champions now you are all winners a big round of applause for you all <laughs> it was all your hard work you are here okay so in this riddle b we are going to have a single round and this we will be continuing till we get our gold medal, silver and bronze medal winners, champs, okay? It's a single uh, word and a riddle elimination round, which is timed out. Once the B master completes the question, the timing will be on. You can see the question along with the timer displayed on the screen, which is in front of the mic. That is for your understanding, but you will be required to listen to the B master calling out the question. Okay, and then you get 15 seconds to answer the riddle. Okay, ready? Yes, let's do it. So I might be reading out some numbers, but that doesn't have to bother you. It's not for you. After I have read my question for you, we start a timer for 15 seconds. All, the whole competition is going like that. At every point, you'll get a question. You'll be timed for 15 seconds. You either get it right or you don't get it right. So you either stay in the competition or you have to drop off the competition. Okay? Simple? Right? Ready? Good. Adhya Marineni from St. Anthony's High School, Hyderabad. Are you ready? Yes. Your question, what is at the end of every rainbow? Your time starts now. What is at the end of every rainbow? A color? A oh, color, no, it's the letter W. <laughs> Thank you, good job with that. And your second riddle question, for this first round is how many days in a week start with the letter T? Your time starts now. How many days in a week start with the letter T? Sorry, the answer was today, Tuesday, Thursday, tomorrow. All these come in a week, right? Right, thank you. The next contestant, Noordeep Nandan Reddy from Harvest Public School, Kamam. And your question is, which letter of the alphabet contains the most water? Your time starts now. D. B. Speak clearly. B. You're saying the letter B? Yes. I'm sorry, it is not the right answer. 
The answer is C. Ready for your second question? Yes. Okay. Ready? I sound like one letter, but when I'm written, it's three. I show you things when you look through me. Your time starts now. I sound like one letter, but when I'm written, it's three. I show you things mirror. when you look through me. Your time is up. I'm sorry you got the answer wrong. The answer is I. I. I sound like one letter, I. Okay. But I'm written in three, E, Y, E. I show you things when you look through me. Got it? The answer is an I. Thank you very much. Yes, good, good that you came until here. So now I call upon contestant number three. This is Chaitra Reddy from Chirak International School. Okay, ready? I have a bed, but I never sleep. I have a mouth, but I never speak. What am I? River. A river, very good. Give her a big round. Listen to me for your second riddle question. Forwards, I am heavy. I sure weigh a lot. But when I'm backwards, I certainly am not. What am I? Your time starts now. Forwards, I am heavy. I sure wear a lot. But when I'm backwards, I certainly am not. Okay, your time just clocked zero. The answer, anyone from here? Participants? A ton, very good. The letter T O N, the word T O N, is very heavy when you're reading it forward, right? But when you read it backwards, it's N O T. So it's not. Okay? You got one answer, right? So now I call upon contestant number four. This is Siddhant Mudhali from Kennedy High, the Global School. I'm reading out your question. I can be cracked and I can be played, I can be told and I can be made. What am I? Your time starts now. I can be cracked, I can be played, I can be told, I can be made. Sorry, your time is up and the word is joke. Right? I can be cracked. I crack a joke, I play a joke. I can tell a joke and I can be made a joke of. Okay? Right? Ready for your next question? Okay, ready? I read your question. This is your second question for round one. I have a head and a tail that will never meet. Having too many of me is always a treat. What am I? Your time starts now. A coin. A coin. Very good. Good job. You got one answer right. So we'll call you back again for a tiebreaker word. I now call upon contestant number five. This is Sai Shri Lalita from Shine India School, Kamam. And your question, your first question for this round one is, I help you from your head to your toe. The more I work, the smaller I grow. What am I? The time starts now. I help you from the head to your toe. The more I work, the smaller I grow. Sorry, your time is up. And the answer is... A bar of soap. A bar of soap. Yes, very good. That is the answer. Right? Are you ready for your second question? Okay? Okay. okay. I have two main bodies and I'm turned all about. When I'm standing still, time will run out. What am I? The time starts now. Two main bodies and I'm turned all about. When I'm standing still, time runs out.
Sorry, you missed this one as well. It is an hourglass. Very well done. Thank you. Since you got both your answers, uh, your attempts were not even made. Your journey here comes to an end in this competition. We'd like you to take your seat and cheer up the rest of the contestants. Okay? Thank you. Uh, contestant number six always helps me out. Your first question for your first round is a seed with three letters in my name. Take away two and I still sound the same. Your time starts now. P. Ah, very good. Good answer. Correct. Okay, allow me to read your second question. I may have eyes, but I don't use them to see. I live in the dark until you have need of me. What am I? And your time starts now. I may have eyes, but I don't use them to see. I live in the dark until you have need of me. You didn't get that? Any guesses there? Potato. A potato. Correct. <laughs> you got one right. So we'll call you back again for a tiebreaker round. Well done. Thank you. Contestant number seven. This is Ibrahim from Harvest Public School, Kamam. Ready? And your first yes. question in this round is, tall when I'm young, short when I'm old. I'll help you to see when the darkness unfolds. What am I? A yes. candle. A candle even before okay. your timer started. Brilliant. Very good. Are you ready for your second question? Yes. I can never be thrown, but I can be caught. Ways to lose me are always being sought. What am I? Cough. Now, since you said the word cough, which is also a correct answer, cold is also the other answer we're looking for. I now call upon contestant number eight. This is Sachin Draw from Chirik International. Okay, your first question in this round for you. I'm at the start of the end and at the end of every place. I'm the beginning of eternity and at the end of time and space. What am I? You have to see it clearly. Oh, your time is up. You have a contestant. Uh, the letter E. Very good. Okay, ready for your second question? Yes, ma'am. Yes, and it is. After a fall, you'll always find me there. What once was alive will now be bare. What am I? Your time starts now. Sorry, Sachin, you didn't get that. Anyone from the audience? No. Nope. Okay. No. After a fall, it's a season, right? You'll always find me there. What was once alive will now be bare. The answer is winter. Oh. Right? Thank you, Sachin. I guess your journey ends here with the first round. Thank you. Give him a hand. He attempted. He stood. He, he bared it. Very well done. Thank you, Sachin. Now I call upon contestant number nine. This is Ayuthi Pradhan from TIPS International School, Rajamandri. Ready? I read your question. I am something that no man ever did see. I never was, but I'm always to be. What am I? Your time starts now. May I repeat the question? Yes, I am something that no man ever saw or ever did see. I never was, but I'm always to be. House? Mm, no, the answer is tomorrow. Okay. Right? Okay, ready for the next one? Yes. What struggles to get through, I make it easy for you to undo. What am I? You struggle to get through, but you be it becomes easy to undo. 
Your time had already started. Oops, you lost the timer there. The answer is a key. So now I call upon contestant number 10. This is Shreyans Makam from Kennedy High, the Global School. Okay? Yeah. Though sometimes I am made of purest gold, I cannot be bought and I cannot be sold. What am I? Your time starts. Though sometimes I'm made of purest gold, I cannot be bought, I cannot be sold. Yes, and your time just finished. That's a heart. You have a heart of gold. You can't buy it. You cannot sell it. Okay, your question is, it is an instrument through which sounds are made and yet not something that can be played. Your time starts now. Instrument through which sounds are made and yet not something that can be played. Guitar? Your guitar? No. You can make sounds with guitar, right? Yes. What is it? from which sound comes, but you can't play it. Okay. Your voice, very good. Okay, ma'am. Okay, I'm sorry then, since you lost the chance with two correct answers, your journey ends here as well. The last <coughs> contestant for round one, this is Pidikiti Chetan Sai from Veeramanchaneni Padia Siddhartha Public School. Okay, your question has come up on the screen. Allow me to read it and then your time must start. What gets wet while it's drying? Your time Towel. A towel. Very good. Your second question. What comes down but never goes up? Your time starts now. What comes down but never goes up? Yeah, your timer's done. It's rain. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would, uh, before going on for the further round, I would like to announce, I think uh, we have already got a contestant who has been going straight for the gold medal. And this is contestant number seven. It's Ibrahim from Harvest Public School, Kamam. And tell so, the Ibrahim, why. you are the champ who definitely gets a gold medal. And is that a now, surprise? Because we need to take this call because uh, in this round we did have only one contestant who was able to clear both the riddles. That's the reason we had to take this call and now we do have the tiebreaker uh, tie sessions to decide upon the silver and the bronze medal accordingly. Okay, so the students who all had the tiebreaker opportunity, you will be called now and you will be taking it for contesting for the silver and bronze medal accordingly. Since you got one riddle right, okay, you were able to crack it. And again, it's a <coughs> single riddle elimination round, which is going to be timed for 15 seconds. Am I clear? Yes. So we are all going to cheer mm. the contestants who are going to now participate in tiebreaker round. Thank you all. So my first contestant is going to be uh, Chaitra Reddy from Chirek International. What has a neck but no head? No. Bottle. A bottle. Very good. Thank you. Right. That's it. One word. Thank you, dear. And we'll I call you back again. Call upon contestant number four. This is Siddhant Mudahale from Kennedy High, the Global School. How many months of the year have 28 days? February. And since your attempt with the answer was incorrect, uh, how many months of the year have 28 days? All the months have, right? 
This is contestant number six, Havish. Okay, we have the riddle on the screen, so allow me to read it. It is going to be timed. How do you make the number one disappear? By adding G to it. There you go. Congratulations. You got it correct. Contestant number 11. This is Pidikiti Chetan Sai. Right, and I'm reading your question, which is a tiebreaker word. What has one eye but cannot see? Time starts. Can you please repeat the question? What has one eye but cannot see? Demon. Sorry, your time is up and your correct word is? I would like to hear it. A needle. Right. A needle. Very good. Thanks for being thank you, patient Thank you. Thank you very much. One. That brings you to the end of the journey in this competition. We are going for the tiebreaker round again. So it's a single question elimination round. Single riddle, that's elimination round. I request Chaitra to... Ready? Yes. And your question is, what needs an answer but doesn't ask a question? Your time starts. You need to answer, but don't have a question. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, your time is up. A telephone, a telephone. Right, you have to answer the f call, right? So that was your answer. Chaitra's position can be confirmed after we hear it from Havish. Okay, your question is up, but allow me to read it before the timer starts. If you took two apples from three apples, how many apples would you have? Your timer starts. Two. Yeah, very good. The answer is two, two apples, the two apples that you took, right? Very good. So, that, do we have a result some, now? Yes, Clear, distinct some. result. Havish. You have taken the second position and Chaitra, you Good have job. taken the third position, dear. Congratulations. Right. Very good. Contestant number seven, this is Ibrahim going for the gold and the round, first big position. Round. It was an easy try for him. Congratulations, Ibrahim. And I have contestant number six qualifying for the second position that is the silver medal and contestant number three going in for the bronze that's the third position congratulations, congratulations well to done, everyone well done, all of you. you all had been wonderful and most of you seemingly know knew all the answers other than the questions what have been asked for you that was wonderful they've crossed hundreds of riddles finally being here and uh, of course there are three champions bronze, silver and gold. take this privilege to announce one more time. Let me start with bronze. D. Chaitra Reddy from Chirek School, Hyderabad won a bronze medal. Bronze winner will get 3,000 rupees prize money and a gift hamper from Dukes. And the silver medal goes to Dara Hawish, Cornerstone Public School, Hyderabad. 5,000 rupees cash prize and a gift hamper from Dukes. Ibrahim, Harvest Public School, Kamam, gold winner will win 8,000 rupees cash prize and a gift hamper from Dukes. Congratulations, Ibrahim, 8,000 rupees cash prize, a medal and a gift hamper from Dukes. Congratulations.